What's up, y'all? This is Aunt Glizzy. This is Bob Sun TV. And today we got the worst show in DMV history. Like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Because, like, after this show, I might end rap in the DMV. Like, I might just, like, it's under construction right now. Any A&Rs watching, any record labels watching, give us, like, a week. I got to call the huddle real quick. Because that happened this weekend. I can't even speak for myself. Let's get into it, y'all. If y'all don't know what this is, that's called the Fed Trail Scam of a Lifetime. So y'all know what MGE is. MGE is Fat Trail's new record label. So MGE and Fat Trail was thinking of a plan. Fat Trail's broke. He ain't making no show money. He ain't getting no money. No house. He back down East Street. So I swear to God, y'all wouldn't even believe that somebody told me, man, yeah, I just bought a 3.5 from Fat Trail. I'm talking about Fat Trail going to hand in hand out of zip down the Pinnacles. I ain't even not making this up. I swear to God. Somebody told me they bought a 3.5 from Fat Trail. I said, Fat Trail sold you a 3.5? He said, yeah. I said, what's that right there? He said, man, that's a bag of fat food. I said, what you gonna say? And I got it from him. I said, man, come on, bro. This is crazy. We is legal, y'all. We good. You can have a zip in DC. It's all right. It's not incriminating things. But long story short, let's get into it. So MGE is his regulator when they think of a way how they gonna make trail money. So off a trail name, trail can get all these rappers. They thinking like, yeah, we open up for fat trail. It's like an open mic concert. Like to these rappers, Trill's a big name because he's a bigger rapper than them. They feel like if they can work with Trill or do something to open some doors for them, but they really got finesse. I'm going to tell you what the finesse is. Fat Trill act like he ain't got nothing to do with this show. Like, he just headlining it. Fat Trill is just headlining the show, and they looking out for the DMV. He put artists on it, looking out, trying to get y'all exposure. They charging for this show. This, this show, they charging for this show. The owner of this show, the guys who threw this show, it's Fat Trail label mates. This is this is his partner, Swirly, MGE. So they make money off the show. They put all the rappers, make them feel good about opening up for Fat Trail. Now they got 20 rappers off the shrimp for Fat Trail name on this show for free. Now all they need these rappers to do is make money off this show is all these rappers feel good about this show and go promote this on their Insta story. 20 rappers going to bring all their fans together, going to be in this one show. Fat Trail going to get paid. Fat Trail don't even got no price of what he going to get paid. Fat Trail going to get a percentage. Of the show, the hookah, the lick, the security. This time I'm speaking of security. This one should make you rappers feel bad. This is very embarrassing. And Glizzy, the bummest rapper here, Mr. I Don't Make No Lists, Mr. We Ain't Turning That On. Nobody get imagine somebody getting caught saying playing that new Aunt Glizzy. They don't do that. But this is what I'm going to tell you about me. My business is better than my music. I just did a show two days before y'all in Fredericksburg for 5000 All y'all did is for free. I'm going to give you a scenario how bad this hurt. Would you rather be a rapper or security? The guy that's like, excuse me, can I see your ticket? You here to see Fat Trail? Yeah, let me pat you down your pocketbook real quick. Yo, you can go on. He getting paid $25 an hour. Y'all ain't getting paid nothing. The guy who paying that security making more than the rappers. You get where I'm going with this? Let's get back into it. So y'all can feel like Trill looking out and y'all using no. Trill is really using his name and look like he's son, y'all. To look like he put y'all on the show. He the biggest person here. He put himself in it. Trail is not the most popular rapper here. KP could have headlined that joint. KP is bigger than Trail in relevancy in this city. This is the DMV Music Festival. This ain't the BET Awards. The DMV Music Festival. Fat Trails should have went third. So long story short, MGE, they play, and MGE don't really care about their artists or nothing. Because I would have, if, if I know the crowd coming six, I'd have put my artists on at 540. MGE, uh, Dirtball, whatever his name is. This guy's one of the dirtiest rappers I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to show y'all a picture. He had like a white tee. First of all, he ain't on no outfit budget. He ain't had nothing. And he was recording while people was like just now getting in. Like, when well, nobody paying no attention. And his the song sucked, the outfit, everything, man. I'm just going to... I'm going to hell. But long story short, it was a big old finesse. I said, man, Fat Trail, and I was on live saying, man, a week from now, Fat Trail can go buy something new. Y'all can see Fat Trail Instagram, he gonna buy something new because he just made some money off y'all as a finesse. The next day, today, today's the next day after the show, Fat Trail just was in the jeweler. He said he ran out of gas in the jeweler. Somebody bring up some gas, he added somebody. But he was in the jeweler with money on the jump. It was really just to show you him in a jewelry store with the money, but he tried to fake like he ran out of gas. Just to, It was like a list of these stuff. It's like, pro, I don't want some rap. I don't know what these rappers be doing. Had nothing to do with the weed. He just wanted to make it seem like that, but he really wanted to show you the money that he was in the jewelry store getting new jewelry because he just finessed all y'all. Don't be doing no free shows out here. So then I'm looking. Then I see 3 old Black performed on the show. 3 old Black said he had a million dollars. 3 old Black is bankrupt. This is a bankrupt outfit. He got the Crocodile Hunter shorts with the Foggy. You want to go catch some snakes, Mike? Them had Foggy. Them Foggy 
shorts, them jumps come with a boat constrictor and a motherfucking Jeep Raptor that goes up the mountain and back down the mountain and some uh some snake catching gear. Then he had on the Bobby Boucher jersey. This is when I knew he was crazy. This nigga said, duh, duh. he had the outfit on, the outfit that matched this words. I swear to God, y'all, y'all remember the outfit and these words. Just I'm going to show y'all the outfit right after these words. After these words, whoever edited this video while I'm talking, y'all listening, make sure that the outfit pop up right after these words. Do you remember when Bobby Boucher showed up halftime and the Mud Dogs won the Bourbon Bowl? Now y'all understand where I'm coming from. This man dressed like he about to go fishing. All he needs is a bucket hat and some beers. Three old black is not it. Like then he performed. You can be four on three on two on, bro. We tied them songs from last generation. Then this the kicker to it all. Before it all, I'm just gonna send y'all to a live and let a live finish the rest of this. Cause I don't wanna burst these rappers. Y'all career is over. Like I'm the biggest DMV rapper here. Like, I, I'm here the biggest here. Like, I'm gonna say I'm the biggest here. I'm talking shit. Like, cause think about it. Ang Lizzie and David Ruffin fight was bigger than 20 rappers on the show. And this is another thing I wanna tell you. How's this DMV Music Fest with nobody from 37? Bruh, that street build, that joint like Motown over there. They got Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5. I swear to God. That joint had no tall on it. I feel, I'm gonna say what y'all scared to say, cause the people were scared to say it. And I'm not, I don't have to pick a side. When you don't pick a side, they don't just pick on you, bro. You a real nigga. I'm a real nigga, bro. Y'all scared of the foxes. Y'all scared of the to put a little bit of fur on. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can put some fur on that show. Y'all scared of the foxes. And on my mother, y'all. Y'all biased Like, y'all keep treating them like that. Ah right, man, I'm telling y'all, if Fred Trill would've got into it one of these Fox Fry guys behind this show, one of these 37 guys, he ain't gonna say nothing about them dissing this show. I swear to God, I swear to God, they gonna say something about me making the video. They not gonna say nothing about... I seen the yo going off about that show because they did wrong that they ain't put them on the show. The yo supposed to be on the show. Somebody from there supposed to have tall on there. I don't care if y'all put them and separated certain people. I'm happy KP was on that jump. But what I'm here to tell y'all is y'all scared to be around them foxes. I understand it, man. Got to put a little fur in it. This is for the A&Rs and the people in the world. This show does not represent DMV rap, y'all. The guy through this show was from Bowie. Fat Trail hanging with guys from Bowie. Like... Imagine Bowie guys having DMV pool. It's like, bro, get out of these guys from Bowie. In the Washington, D.C., nobody from Bowie get to speak for nothing. For nobody from D.C., there's nobody in Bowie that can put the stamp on nothing in D.C. These guys are crazy. They building the image on Fat Trail name. Fat Trail met these niggas at the water fountain. These guys are from Bowie. Bowie, Maryland. I used to go to Bowie. If you go to Bowie, you go to, if you don't know what Bowie is, I'm going to break it down. If you know what the difference between Compton and Beverly Hills, that's the difference between Bowie and Southeast Washington. These guys are from Bowie, y'all. They threw a show they don't represent the DMV. They really ended the DMV career for real. Like, all y'all rappers doing that, I'm, I'm not mad at y'all, though. I understand. But I just want y'all to know y'all got work. Y'all got finesse. They ran a finesse on y'all. Fetcher should be canceled for this money scheme he just ran over y'all. That ain't had nothing to do with no show. They don't care about that. That show ain't helped none of y'all career. That show ain't do nothing for y'all. That show was embarrassing. Before I leave, I must just here to tell you, like, let me just tell y'all. They from Bowie for real because they said the show up wrong. Let me just tell you how bad they said the show up wrong. This show started at 2 o'clock or 12 noon. Fetcher went on at 8 o'clock. I'm going to walk off after this. If you think in your life anybody in Washington, D.C. waiting eight hours to watch Fat Trill come out and hit disrespect the tech, you disrespecting me. Bobson.